Welcome to the Dog and Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Early signing day has come and gone. Is it over? I don't know. We've still got a couple of guys that have not put the pen to paper, but overall, a pretty good day for Tennessee. You did have a couple of flips that went against you, uh, but nothing that really surprised us, right? Three-star defensive lineman Darian Smith ends up flipping his commitment to Auburn. I don't think that was that big of a deal. Uh, the defensive line in this class of 25 is very solid. You also lost four-star defensive back Shady Hayward to Florida. Again, not really a surprise. You know, I know a lot of times we come in here and we say, oh, it was just money. It was all about NIL. Well, I'm hearing that Florida overpaid on some guys close to six figures, $100,000 that they overpaid. Shady Hayward never came back to Tennessee. They never had an opportunity to get involved there. So it is what it is. Shady Hayward off to Florida. Outside of that, everybody that you had committed in this class outside of David Sanders and Onus Conan Vanny did put the pen to paper, and they are signed, sealed, and delivered. You managed to flip three-star safety Timothy Merritt from Miami. You landed the big commitment from four-star defensive lineman Isaiah Campbell. He is an elite prospect, a top 50 guy. Uh, as of right now, he's the second highest commit in this class behind David Sanders. So that was a huge add for Rodney Garner. You got to give a shout out to Coach Chop for the recruitment as well, but just a huge addition to this class of 25 that's very strong on the defensive side of the ball. You also flipped four-star linebacker Jaden Perlotti from USC. Tennessee finished today 10th in the country. That's where they're at right now in the class of 25. We'll see if they add anybody throughout the couple of next couple of months going into February signing period. Uh, but although you're 10th in the in the country, you're seventh in the SEC behind Georgia, behind Alabama, Texas, LSU, Auburn, Oklahoma, Florida. So the question is, is 10th good enough? Is seventh in the SEC good enough? Had a fun conversation with Coach Rice. We talked all the activities of early signing day, and then we kind of talked about it. Is that good enough for Josh Heupel in this football program? I think you can argue uh, that the transfer portal kind of helps limit the impact of a class that's not necessarily top five or top three in the SEC. What say you? Jump in the comment section and let's talk about it. But one of the interesting stories yesterday is guys – that did not put pen to paper. We all know about David Sanders. I've got an update on him coming up here in just a second. But there was another five-star offensive lineman that Tennessee was heavy on early in the cycle that did not sign yesterday afternoon. So what does that mean? Are they in it? Do they have a shot? I told you guys last night I would do some digging. I would do some research. We would get into it here this morning. But as always, you guys know the deal. I got to have you do that YouTube stuff, man. Smash the thumbs up just below the video. It's quick, free, and easy, and it helps the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. If it's your first time on the Talking Balls Network, welcome. We're not experts here. Uh, we're not insiders. We're not media. We're not reporters. We're not journalists. We don't pretend to be that. What we are is fans. For the fans, by the fans, we react as fans. We speculate as fans, whether it's on message board rumors or things we see on the internet. We let the experts and the insiders break the news, then we come here as a fan base to talk about it. That's what this channel is. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. You're not going to miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. I think we're going to go live on Sunday for the college football playoff rankings reveal show. So stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys up to date, uh, but let's get into it. Let's talk about another five-star offensive lineman. Uh, Georgia Tech commit Josh Petty, not expected to sign on Wednesday. And if you're not familiar with Josh Petty, 247 Sports has him listed as a five-star. The on three industry rankings have him as a very highly rated four-star prospect. You know, I just mentioned Isaiah Campbell being the top-rated commit in the class for Tennessee behind David Campbell. Uh, well, Josh Josh Petty would be right underneath Dave, David Sanders, right, right in between David Sanders, Isaiah Campbell, elite prospect, ranked 42nd overall in the country. He's a guy that we talked a lot about early in the cycle because the balls were in deep on his recruitment. One of the selling points uh, is Josh Petty grew up a Tennessee fan, right? So when I saw this come out, that he wasn't signing. It's kind of the same as when we saw David Sanders and all the news broke yesterday that he wasn't going to sign. We all went into panic mode going, okay, is Ohio State sneaking in here at the final hour, going to drop a big bag? Is this an NIL deal? What is going on? Same thing happened here with Josh Petty. Doesn't put the pen to paper. We start speculating. Uh, now, I know a couple of months ago it was put out that, that he had signed a three-year deal worth $800,000 per year. So we're talking some big-time NIL money. Uh, went to Chad Simmons this morning to see what his update was on the five-star offensive lineman. Uh, he says Josh Petty is committed to Georgia Tech, but the top 100 offensive lineman out of Georgia, uh, Fellowship Christian, did not sign his papers. Uh, the two are working to get that done, but other teams are communicating with Petty just in case. When he committed to the Yellow Jackets, Florida State 
was the runner up. Now he committed to Georgia Tech. I think Florida State had a hat on the table. Ohio State had a hat on the table. I don't remember if Tennessee was a fourth hat. I can't quite remember that or not. I know they were deep in his recruitment, but hearing Chad Simmons say, you know, the pen when the pen has not hit the paper yet, anything can happen. And I think that's why some of you guys, maybe myself, maybe myself included in this, kind of start to panic and freak out about David Sanders. Went to Ball Quest. Austin Price said he doesn't see this happening with Tennessee and Josh Petty. Brent Hubbs also said uh, there have been no conversations that I am aware of. I went over to Rivals.com and saw a Georgia Tech moderator post that said everything is good to go there. It's more complicated than most of the signings with his profile. These are basically like contracts now, so ironing out last-minute detail or two will be announced this week, confirmed with both camps. Now, that sounds familiar, right? A Georgia Tech mod is saying, hey, everything's fine. We're waiting on the paperwork. No big deal. Not a problem at all. Then you've got Chad Simmons out there at on three saying other teams are still in communication. So that leads us over to five-star offensive tackle David Sanders. Now, I made a video on him yesterday. We talked about him last night during the stream. But even, even with all those conversations, all those videos, all those live streams, there are still a lot of people tagging me on Twitter, messaging me, DMing me, saying, what is going on with David Sanders? So I want to provide another update. We saw this yesterday, right? Started to roll out on social media, started to roll out on the BallQuest message boards that David Sanders was not expected to sign. Uh, now, look, you, I, I get the panic. I get the freak out. You look at the way his recruitment played out the last few weeks. You know, he was committed to Tennessee. We thought he was a lock. It was all orange. It was all ball. He was peer recruiting. But then he takes that trip to Ohio State. So then all the speculation starts. Oh, it's NIL. It's a bidding war. That's all it is. Drop the bag because that's what we do, right? That's what we do. Drop the bag. I just did I just did it with Shady Hayward, right? The, uh, Florida overpaid. Florida overpaid. That's what we as fans do. We start speculating. We start freaking out. Austin Price is trying to hold our hand and walk us through it, saying it is NIL related, but it's not just a flat-out bidding war. He is dotting the I's, crossing the T's, making sure that he is making the right decision for his future. Now that leads to a lot of bashing. David Sanders is going to be a locker room cancer. David Sanders is going to be a problem when he gets to Tennessee. All he cares about is himself. All he cares about is money. I don't know that that's necessarily the truth. There was a BallQuest poster that posted these three questions to AP, and I really like it. He says, does David Sanders want to go to Tennessee? Yes. Does David Sanders have a good relationship with Glenn Ellerby? Yes. Is all the drama recently solely NIL-related and mostly coming from people around David, family slash agent? AP says all of those things are pretty spot on. You know, you look, college football in 2024, agents are all trying to make a name for themselves. So this was agent driven. We know that going back to what AP said when the news first broke that David Sanders wasn't going to be signing when he was taking the trip to Ohio State rather. Now he shows up and he doesn't sign on signing day. That just adds to more of the panic. Now you go to Twitter and I get it. Not everybody goes to the experts and the insiders. Some people just go to Twitter. These these were all tweets that came out yesterday when the news broke. Ohio State Twitter accounts that claim to be news, claim to be insiders. We see the same thing with Tennessee. Tweet number one, this all happened today. David Sanders Jr. delayed his recruitment. Josh Simmons enters the draft, offered flips away. More NIL space now. Potential Ohio State-Tennessee matchup in two weeks. Tweet number two, Ohio State five-star David Sanders is not expected to sign today. Sanders is currently committed to Tennessee, but the Buckeyes have been fighting hard for the flip. It appears that fight will continue a bit longer. Now, tweet number three, if David Sanders doesn't sign with anyone today, that is good for Ohio State. If this is a bidding war, then I expect Ohio State will go all in. Now, we talked last night, an article from On3, where David Sanders, his high school coach said, hey, this is not a big deal. This is not a big deal. He wants to sign with his teammates. He's having a signing ceremony next week, next Tuesday. Here's the quote from his high school coach. We have four kids doing it, and it worked out best with everyone's schedule. I think everyone is signing today and doing recognition next Tuesday. So that tells me, does Tennessee have the paperwork? I played a video clip of Isaiah Campbell's commitment where Josh Newberg over at On3 says, I can't wait for David Sanders and Isaiah Campbell to line up against each other in practice. Do these guys already know? Does Tennessee already have the paperwork? But they are waiting to announce at the ceremony next week on Tuesday. I've seen people kicking around the day Friday. I don't know why. I don't know why they're kicking around tomorrow's date. Is David Sanders sending in the paperwork tomorrow, but then going to announce it on Tuesday? Chad Simmons of On3.com put out an update this morning. Said David Sanders ended up not signing with Tennessee on Wednesday, but the elite offensive tackle is still expected to end up a vol. 
He says the ceremony at Providence Day is next Tuesday, and that is when all the signees will be honored at the school. Ohio State did get Sanders on campus for the Indiana game, but all seems to be in place for the elite offensive lineman to end up in Knoxville. So I think when you look at Chad Simmons is telling you, the high school coach is telling you, Steve Wilfong is telling you, Austin Price is telling you, follow the guys that know the insides and outs of recruiting. They are the best at what they do. We come here, we talk about it, we speculate on it. As of this morning, I feel pretty dang confident that jo- uh, that that David Sanders is going to end up a volunteer. But I wanted to put out a quick update on Josh Petty because we mentioned that last night. And then a final update from David Sanders this morning with Chad Zimmon saying all signs indicate David Sanders is a ball. Smash the thumbs up on the way out the door. Jump in the comment section. What are your thoughts on early signing day 2024? Who do you really like in this class? Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. Uh, go check out the Talking Balls merchandise. You can go to bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. That link is also in the description below. Uh, you want to also support the channel. Think about hitting that join button. You can do it for just a dollar a month. You get access to custom Talking Balls emojis, fan call and shows all kinds of fun perks and benefits. All the links. So all of that stuff are right down below in the description. We appreciate the support. That's going to do it for this one. Videos coming your way throughout the rest of the week. If any news breaks, transfer portal stuff, the portal opens on Monday. Portal season is here. Again, I will let you guys know we plan to go live on Sunday night for the college football playoff rankings reveal. But that is going to do it. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.